of us in this room, probably maybe with the exception of Sarah, are old enough to remember the Coke and Pepsi of the 1990s being Taxol and Taxotier. And so do we have a Coke and Pepsi of the 2010s, the Zometa versus Exgiva? Um, which would you give, or in this case, uh, to stabilize this lady's bones? Zometa or Exgiva? I mean, it's a cost issue, I think, for a lot of people. Um, I, I, we've, I've been mainly using the, um, the Exgiva, the Dunasumab, um, mainly because of they don't have to go in the infusion room. I mean, there's a convenience issue to it. Um, also, the uh, the need to not have to worry about renal toxicity is, is is a nice is a nice plus. Somebody like this is going to need some sort of a bone agent for a long period of time. We run out of data after a few years, you know, but we know this patient's going to be alive for a long time. So I've been um, usually favoring the uh, denosumab. I have to say I've had a plethora of patients recently with osteonecrosis. It's really interesting. These are patients who started with bisphosphonates, you know, years ago and didn't have any teeth pulled or anything like that. And, you know, they've all ended up sort of late in the course of their disease uh, with really extensive osteonecrosis. I mean, one woman, <laughs> she's also on low-dose steroids for rheumatoid arthritis, and maybe that contributed. She's really got her whole jaw involved and uh, got an, an uh, uh, Ludwig's angina, you know, an abscess under her chin from sort of a draining thing. It's really very impressive. And she hadn't been on she hadn't been on any bone stabilizing agents for a year and a half. So you wouldn't use either of these drugs? No, I would, but I would be careful about stopping. I think I would use them, but I think I wouldn't I wouldn't use it for the reason that I'm gonna continue it for eight how years. Long, how that's long my point. We just have no data and that's something we're all sort of shooting from the hip and after two years we're yeah, what are we doing? Pulling well there back. actually is a paper about to be published right. in the Breast Journal from our group. Yeah. Talking about long-term toxicity of bisphosphonates, yeah. actually. So and it turns out most of the ONJ does occur after a year or two. So maybe so what we should do is take a break. I guess that was my point, really, in responding yeah, to that, is yes. that, yeah. you know, I don't, I don't know that it matters so much which we start with, but I think some, you know, we start with denosumab or, uh, or zoledronate, but I, I think the zanosumab certainly subcutaneous. That's nice. You don't get as much of the fever. But we should stop them at some point, and we can always restart. You know, some of us are old enough to remember <clears throat> um, patients who were admitted to the hospital on a fairly regular basis with hypercalcemia. We just don't see it anymore. Uh, we remember using a whole lot more radiotherapy and uh, having uh, artificial hips. And it, it's just, I think we get very focused on ONJ and the atypical fractures. And I, I just think that it's important to remind ourselves what life was like before we had either of these. I don't think anybody else remember. Yeah, I've just, been seeing more yeah. hypercalcemia. And again, we need data on this, but I, I I think, you know, the bisphosphonates, you know, change the chemical composition of the hydroxyapatite. Now, it may erode over time, but denosumab is an antibody. So if you do want to take a break after a while, it shouldn't be too many months, and you should have some normal physiology going on, too. And so then denosumab really is cleared very quickly, so yes, that's another Well, that's going to really translate into right. more safety long term. I don't think we know. But it is fascinating you mentioned that, Andy, because I've just been thinking about that because I've had three patients who had incidental hypercalcemia, which I haven't seen in years. They all were off their bone agents for a long time because of osteonecrosis. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.